I like yoga. I like running. Yeah. I like j- doing jujitsu. Obviously, I like all I like all kinds of martial arts, and but I just like moving my body, man. Those after images you just saw were all created and added to that Joe Rogan podcast clip inside an AI image generator. It can automatically create and place images onto your TikToks and shorts for you, or you can choose to use the image generator more manually for a more detailed result. This technology is crazy, so let's jump in and show you how to use it. So let's start with having the AI image generator automatically do things for you. When you load your video into the website, you'll see a preview of it over here on the right-hand side. You'll see the Joe Rogan clip that I'm using for this example here. You'll have everything that was said in that clip converted into a script and written here on the left. And at the bottom, we'll see a traditional timeline similar to what you see in just standard editing software that we can use to jump to different points in that video. Now, I'll tell you what this image generator tool is in a second, but first, let me show you how easy it is to automatically add images to your videos. To do that, you just head over to this B-roll button here on the left and press Auto Generate AI B-roll. And when you press that, the image generator is going to find the perfect moments to add images to your videos, and it's going to generate and insert those images on top of your TikToks and Shorts. So let's click that button now, and this literally just takes a few seconds for this to complete. And there we go. It was finished before I even finished that sentence. You can see down here on the timeline, it's added two pieces of B-roll, one here and one here. If we scroll to just before this image was inserted, we can see what that looks like. I like running. Yeah. I like j- doing jujitsu, obviously. I like all, I like all kinds of mar- It's literally as easy as that. So I had to show you that automatic function first before I told you what the tool was and showed you how to do things manually because I've never seen a quicker way to add images to our TikToks and Shorts than this. So I wanted to just put that out there. But let's look at what the tool is and how you can do things more hands-on if you want to. So here's the website for the AI image generator. There's a link to get set up for free in the description to this video. And you'll see up here, it's within a tool called Opus Clip. Before I show you how to be more detailed with the images that Opus Clip creates for you, it seems important for me to point out a few things. First off, these captions, these captions for my shorts and TikToks were created by Opus Clip. And I can move these captions to anywhere in my video that I want to. I can turn them off and on again by clicking at this toggle over here. I can also do some cool things over here in the AI enhanced area, such as removing any silences and pauses from my original video. And I can even use this toggle over here to improve the speech that was in the original recording if it's bad quality. So the tool in general has some great automatic features to take your vertical recordings and turn them into finished TikToks and shorts. But what if you want to be more hands-on and in control rather than letting the tool do everything automatically? You can do that too. So you can manually add images inside this image generator at any moment you choose. I'll show you how to do that now. So you can just choose the moment by selecting the words in the script of the video that you want images added to. So I've just selected I like yoga and all we need to do to add images at that point is to go up to add AI B-roll and select AI generated B-roll here. And once again, the generator is going to create a new image for the words that were being said at that point. So as we can see added to the timeline, when Joe is talking about yoga, an image of a yoga studio has been added at that point. I can click that new image on the timeline and move it left to have it come in earlier. I can move it right to have it come in later. I can extend that image so it shows for longer on the original clip. And as the image generator shows me here, the prompt that it used to generate the image, if there's anything missing from that image that was created, I can just change the prompt and have a new image generated that's exactly like I want. So let's add a man into our image. We just need to find the right point in the prompt. So we'll put it here and we'll ask for a young man in a yoga pose. We can now scroll down and press regenerate and just wait a couple of seconds. And it's going to come up with some new images that have a man inside doing a pose for us. So here we go. We've been given four new images to choose from. I can click on any of them and they're going to replace the original image in our timeline with the new image of a man. So I'm going to go for this one right here. And if we close this, we can even upload any images that we have from somewhere else into this generator to be added to our TikToks and Shorts. 
To do that, we just need to press upload up here and upload the image and any images that you've uploaded will be shown in this image tab. So let's upload this image here of Joe Rogan doing karate. We're gonna add it to the timeline. We'll just find the right point where he's talking about karate, which is here and then move the beat roll over to that spot. And there we go. We have our own image now added to our video. We can save this up here, download it and then upload that video to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, wherever we want to use it. So the Opus Clip image generator is seriously so easy to use and great for taking your short videos to the next level. Like I said, link to start using that for free is in the description to this video. Only thing it can't do is create images like this that have like a specific celebrity face or maybe your face added to the image. To do that, you need to use a different AI image generator that I found that's also super easy to use. I've done a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use it there to create those images that have your face or a specific person's face and face added to it. So watch that next if you want to do stuff like that. Really easy tutorial to follow and also make sure to subscribe to the channel.